validate the service description of the product with potential customers to determine its market acceptability. Select or pinpoint potential suppliers of raw materials and other inputs necessary for the production of the product or service. The marketability of the product will depend on the acceptance of the proposed customer or market. The entrepreneur needs to include not only the product, but also a service description. This is also true on products of the technical strands, which can be technically aligned. It can help to maintain the product functionality and features which will be valuable to the market or customers. Other strands like food and beverages can have both product and service description if includes delivery of items to the customer. There are ways to validate product description. First, the entrepreneur itself will check the functionalities of the product if it conforms with the product. Description and specification can be the family members. If in the case of foods, drinks, and other types of products, and they can give a good assessment because of the scenario now. Due to COVID-19, we cannot go for product testing outside the house, especially for students. But if the situations become normal or COVID-19 has been eradicated, the customer can validate the product description created by the entrepreneur if it is acceptable or needed modifications and additional features for them to be satisfied. The product also needs to be safe and with standards set by agencies of the government like licenses or permits, to assure that the business will operate normally without any problems for any inventions related to foods, which is mostly done in manufacturing business. There is a government agency like Bureau of Foods and Drugs, or BFAD, that ensures the market for safety. Select or pinpoint potential suppliers of raw materials and other inputs necessary for the production of product or service. After the validation of the product or service, and results are successful or it has been accepted by the proposed market. The entrepreneur can now think for the potential suppliers before he undergoes production of the product. First to consider is the quality of the product sold by the supplier because inputs matter in having a good quality product. Second, the competitive price of the supplies because your business needs to be competitive in order to gain advantage in competition. Third is the location of the supplier to your target. Business since transportation also adds to the cost of operation. Fourth is the consistency of supply can also be noted because that can also interrupt your production once it becomes functional. The items discussed in the aspects about the supplier of the raw materials for your product is very important to create a smooth flow of production which in turn provides a good quality product valuable to customers. This leads to the discussion of the value supply chain. Discuss the value supply chain in relation to the business enterprise. The materials that will be used in the production of a product should have a good quality to remove unnecessary problems in processing the product. The entrepreneur now needs to consider the value supply chain in the process of production. According to Ramji Vinod, who answers in a question about the importance of value in the supply chain implies it is essential in converting raw materials into work in process and converting work in process and converting work in process to finish goods in production of the product. It is the value added in the supply chain that is maintained and non-value activities are minimized or removed in the process to have an efficient flow of the production. Thank you for listening. I'm Jayman Liklik and this is my presentation.